Hello and welcome to Jurassic the Colorado Dinosaurs. This is a f the first episode of a new series where we document the lives of these prehistoric animals to help bring light to their survival. Here's a pyroraptor who some of the staff here at the Colorado Dinosaur Reserve call Blazer or Blaze. He looks to be currently looking for food. And he spots something. But it looks like the food has already been found by another predator. A Quilmosaurus. <laughs> Blazer has inflicted a wound on the. <laughs> and Blazer is confronted with another a Carnotaurus. Blazer trusts his instincts and knows just to run from the fight. Somewhere near the edge of the preserve, we see a Heracerolophus. Same one we saw earlier in the episode. It's just looking around, minding its own business. It's unusual for a herbivore like this to be alone, but it seems to have been lost from its herd. It hears something. The parasaur belly for But it is too late. It is a male T Rex. It just came here to hunt food for its family. Turns out that actually this adult male Rex actually turns out to be from Easel Sorna. There's the main buck Rex there until it was transferred to here. There's some volcanic activity on Easel Sorna. There's one of the Apex predators here, above some of the other rexes. Here's its mate, the doe, coming for a piece of the meal, too. And this is their new child. Who we will call Knife. Here near the edge of the forest, we can see one of the main forces of predation on this, in this preserve, the raptor pack. Currently consisting of the alpha male, Charmate, and then another, a tiger raptor that was able to be captured from Sorna. Velociraptor that seems to be descended from the legendary Velociraptor Blue and some other raptor. Right now they are resting. Due to Charmate being a very experienced raptor and them being a pack, this is one of the main predation sources on the island. Many animals have fallen to them. <coughs> He's checking nearby of his territory to make sure nothing is stalking them, trying to hurt them. It looks as if everything is normal for now.
and goes back to watch over his fellow family as they sleep. Charmy is a very old raptor, and a raptor that will be covering the adventures of more in later episodes. As you can see, he's scavenging around and just playing, I guess. Over here, another part of it, we can see the mixed herd. It's a herd of more solitary dancers without a true huge herd that stick together for protection. There's also some Draco Rexes here, which normally hang out with other Pachycephalosaurids, but most likely lost or just more solitary in their, na in their personality. This one is grazing. The other, its mate, is keeping watch. And specifically, this herd is being checked in by a ranger. <laughs> Some of the species in the mixed herd, at least right now, are the kind of leader, due to he being the strongest and could probably give the most protection. The Regaliceratops. It's also a Nidrosaurus, Sauropelta, Boreal Pelta, and these two Dracorexes currently in the herd. They are just living their life, grazing and exploring. Now that is it for this episode of Jurassic Reserve. Goodbye.